well, happy new year everyone and welcome back to another video. So as you can see, we've got an absolutely stunning day today. Really beautiful, absolutely lovely. And I'm down at a place called Batalic, as you can see the Crown Mines behind me there. Stunning location. So um, yeah, the plan today, I actually uh, won a camera on eBay. It's a six by six medium format camera. And I, I got it for 20 quid, <laughs> which is the right result, 20 pounds. Don't know what the quality is gonna be like, but um, the plan today was just to stick a roll of film in it, try it out. I haven't used it yet, so I've got no idea how to use it, but I'm hoping it'll be pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, it's an Agfa isolate, and it looks like it's in good condition. I hope it's all working properly. So the foot plan was to stick in a roll of film here uh, and just get a few images and then head off somewhere. Uh, just go from there. I've also got the Nikon F100 with me, so I'll probably do a few, a few images with that one and just, ha just have a really nice, enjoyable day out. So I'll show you around this Agfa, see if we can figure out how to get it going. Okay, so this is the camera. It's Agfa isolate free. Really lovely little camera. Looks in really nice condition. And it's got, you've got four settings for shutter speed there and bulb. You've got 1 25th, 1 50th, 1 100th and 1 200th of a second. And then you've got your aperture here. So it goes from F4.5 round to F32. And it's got a red dot there on F11. See there. I'm not sure what the red dot means, but I'll probably shoot at f11 because I think that's where the lens will be sharpest, I imagine. So maybe that's what the red dot means. Maybe that's where the, the lens is at its best, possibly. So I'll stick it on f11. Um, and then I've put in a roll of uh, Roly Retro 400S, which I thought would um, work quite well with the camera. It's a vintage film and hopefully, I believe it's quite high contrast film. So it'd be interesting to try it out. I haven't tried it out before. Um, so I've wound it on, and as you can see here on the back, it's got a red window, which is really nice. Stop the light to get in on your film. Uh, so you can see number one there. So I've wound it on, that's my first exposure. It's six by six format, so I will get 12 exposures. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little play around now and get a couple of images. Uh, ex exposure wise, there's obviously no light meter in here at all. So the things with these settings here, I don't think there's any need to be too picky. I'm just literally just gonna light meter off my phone. Um, just getting in the rough area. So I'm using F11. Uh, I'll set that up now, find out what the uh, shutter speed will be. I imagine it's quite bright, isn't it? It could be, could be, one, could be 200, I imagine. I'll set it up and have a look. So I've literally just taken a, a reading off this light meter app. Um, it's, it's okay, I mean, it's pretty basic, but it tends to get the job done. Uh, it's actually saying, settings wise, I've stopped down to F22 uh, to be able to use the maximum shutter speed of 200. Uh, yeah, so F22, it's a 400 speed film, and that's 1 200th of a second. So I'll get a few images here of that, test it out. So I'm just going to get a few images here with the Nikon F100 and the 28 to 300 mm lens. Just going to zoom in on these uh, cliffs here with the lights and the spray coming up. Should make quite strong images along the cliffs here. Uh, I'm shooting with the 28 to 300. My last video up at Dartmoor, um, particularly those ice images. I really like the images, but if you look closely in the corners, it's very soft. Uh, I made the mistake pretty much of shooting the whole zoom range wide open, which was a really silly thing to do. <laughs> I uh, just got really soft images. So today uh, I'm going to be shooting minimum F9, probably F11 all day. And hopefully that'll be a nice uh, improvement there, much sharper in the corners. So I'm going to get a few images here uh, and then we'll head off to Cape Cornwall and um, use up the rest of the roll in the Agfa and carry on shooting with the F100. Uh, a bit of cloud coming in the horizon now, like I said, so that's, that's promising. So I'm going to get a few images.
So I'm just going to get an image here with the Agfa. Nice scene. Got the uh, path leading you down to the rock there with the two crown mines on the opposite side. Hopefully just a little bit of gap in there with the water. And uh, the sky got a bit of a nice high level cloud coming in now. With a red filter that might work quite well. I haven't got any filters for this and there's no thread on there. So um, probably need some sort of push on filter. I have to look into that. If any of you guys have got one of these and know how to uh, get filters on there, if you let me know in the, mess in the comments, that'd be really helpful. I'm just going to, what I'm going to do for this time is just literally just hold it over the top. I'm giving it two, an extra two stops. I say for two to three, but I find two stops is plenty. So I'm going to give it an extra two stops of light. So that's 1 50th of a second at F16. So I've managed to shoot the uh, remaining images with that Agfa Isolate 3. It's been a fun little camera to use actually. The only downside I've, I've noticed so far is the, the, view, the viewfinder is ridiculous. You just can't frame anything. It's so small. You just you don't know what's in there. I don't know how much of it is real coverage. So it's going to be interesting to see when I get the um, negatives developed, um, what they come out like. But it's been fun to use anyway. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see how they come out. So I've got uh, about two, two and a half hours till sunset. Conditions are really beautiful at the moment. Got some lovely high level cloud. So I've been trying to get as much of that in the images as possible. I'm just gonna get a few um, close up images around the sheds and the ropes and things with the Nikon. Um, yeah, just enjoy myself for the next couple of hours. Uh, I possibly might stick in another roll for the um, Agfa isolate. But next half an hour, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the sun for a bit and just make the most of it. Really is absolutely glorious. I know we've got a wet day coming tomorrow. So um, make the most of it today.
So I finished shooting my rolls of film. I had a really lovely time down here. It's been absolutely gorgeous the last couple of hours. I've shot two rolls of the Roly Retro 400S in the Agfa and also one roll of the Delta 400 in the Nikon F100. And just for the last half an hour as well, there's some really lovely light just poking through on the horizon there. So I had another roll of um, Kentmere 100, uh, 100 speed. So I'll put that in quickly and hopefully I've got some nice images of the shards of light coming through the clouds um, along the horizon there, some uh, behind the, the uh, islands and some behind long ships. So hopefully some of those come out quite nicely. And a few landscape shots with the boats in the foreground with the uh, slipway leading you down. And quite a nice dramatic sky now. So I'm hoping some of those images came out really well. Um, never used Kentmere 100 before, so uh, once again, it's, it's been a good day because all these um, films, the, the Kentmere, the Rolly and the Agfa camera, are all brand new. So I'm looking forward to see the results. Well, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could give the video a like, I'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that button and I'd uh, be very grateful. Thanks very much. I'll see you all again really soon.